Hi guys, we are back with some stunning news regarding Smart India Hackathon 2023. And before getting into this video, a short intro. Welcome guys, I hope all of you are doing good. We are here with three exciting news from Smart India Hackathon panel 2023 and out of which the third one is the most surprising one which I never expected. And today was the day which was supposed to be the last day of submission for Smart India Hackathon, PPTs and abstract, whatever. The final registration was supposed to end today. But the deadline has been extended to October 10. Opening way of opportunities for enhancing your PPT, creating a proper video demo and something that can help you a lot because it's nearly 10 days time and uh, utilize it at the best. Then comes the second news which is something unbelievable and surprising. The internal hackathon is no more necessary, it has become optional. Initially the process was that 30 teams will be shortlisted, 5 teams will be the waitlisted teams and this was done based on the internal hackathon. And now the internal hackathon has become optional. I request you to approach your college POC and uh, get your team registered through him because he is the one who is going to send the details of the students who are participating from his college to the Smart India Hackathon panel. And then the Smart India Hackathon panel will be triggering the team leader portal and ensure to do it as much fast as possible because uh, the reason for the extension of the deadline itself was that the team leader portal was sent so late from the Smart India Hackathon panel themselves and they had to ensure that enough time was provided so that the students can give their best. And then comes the most surprising news. The initial process was that one team can submit only one idea and that's no longer the same now. One team can submit multiple ideas no matter how much. And I believe uh, the reason behind this is that uh, the number of submissions have been too less and the number of problem statement counts have been too less. I believe that this is because of the problem statements which are kind of uh, quite quirky this time compared to the last year's problem statements and making internal hackathon optional was something that was possible because Smart India Hackathon until 2019 was operating that way. But the SPOC concept was not there back then in 2019. Anyone can submit any ideas no matter how much cross teams and lot. So this time utilize all these opportunities and it will make way open for all the students who have actually given their hopes out after getting eliminated in the internal hackathon. All the best to each one of you. You are having a golden opportunity now. Ensure that you don't miss this opportunity. And in case if you need any PPT review or stuff like that, ensure to drop us a mail in codehunters2022 at gmail.com. And we are there to help you out. Don't think that there is no guidance there for you. We are there to help you out. And we can ensure that we can give our best feedback which can be helpful for you because we have been receiving a lot of mails lately regarding the uh, PPD validation and review and stuff and I believe that students are getting helped and even if you want your PPT review ensure to drop us a mail and all the best to each and every one of you signing off Gamariel Das and guys guys make sure to drop a comment on how this playlist was and how useful it was for you and something that we could uh, improve and that can motivate us in getting more videos like such cause I think there are there's more than one or two months of Smart India Hackathon left so we can plan some interesting videos and your feedbacks your suggestions are something that are always welcome which we can enhance from our side